¿Cómo estás? Buenos días. Good morning, my Afrocentric home decor and style channel. Yes, I know I'm coming to y'all because I'm in the mood. The, the fall is upon us. Let's just switch right. The fall is coming, but we always feel it before the actual date says it's here, right? So this morning I wanted to talk about, I was really thinking about in my meditation today, it came to me of how to fall in love with your home again. I did a video on my other channel, Blackberry Beauty Academy, and it was a comment that I saw, and I, I really loved it. The comment was a real comment, and I felt it, and it was like, she was, and she said something like, you know, you know, yeah, I, I, I kind of got to, like, fall in love with my house again because I'm not really loving on my house. And I know a lot of people, even when I say home, even like the home where you live, like your state, some of us are even like, oh my God, I don't like my state. I don't like where I live. I don't like my, you know, where I live in, you know, Georgia or Ohio or wherever. And you're so focused on, and I know this because I've, I've done it and I've done it with y'all. You're so focused on not wanting to be here thinking that you're going to get there. But as the law of attraction says, you can't get there from here. You can't get there from there. So if you're busy not liking, thinking that that's going to get you closer to what you do want. And excuse me, y'all, my look, I got my braids done and I, I moved them all to the side. So now these are all squiggly. So anyway, that's okay because everything can't be exact. So anyway, <laughs> uh, so you're so busy trying to or not liking where you are, thinking you're gonna that's gonna get you faster than what you want, but it's not, y'all. I'm telling you, if you're not careful, you will talk yourself into something that's just really not for you and out of something that really could be for you. And that loving where you are and loving on your home is actually, it's divine. That's all that I can say, it's divine. So I was thinking about ways to love your home again, and so this is something that I came with. And I know it sounds, it could it could backfire this first one, but to me, it, it really actually didn't. It, it did the opposite. Travel, <laughs> travel, travel to places or even countries that, you know, may not have all of the infrastructure that your country home country may have or all the amenities or all the benefits or you know start noticing that when you come home from a especially from travel notice all the wonderful things that your country has to offer and that brings me to number two is also explore your city as if it was a place that you were traveling to explore your own city like for me there's so much to do in north carolina i had this memory of the first time that i moved my husband ex-husband and i moved husband at the time moved to north carolina i mean it was like like i forgot to like put that in my like travel you know memory that i left one city or state actually california and, and I used to think it was the most beautiful state in the world not being in the world especially at least in the u.s not being all over the u.s and came to North Carolina, and I, I remember what I fell in love with. So that's another one. Remember what you fell in love with about, at least this, let's, let's talk about the state. It was the greenery, the trees and the green, the massive amount of nature and greenery in North Carolina cannot be matched. I mean, it is a beautiful state. You know, I was thinking about, too, I remember the first day we even moved to Saxapaha, which was a small town uh, in North Carolina. And... Wow, like it was a dream come true. It was excitement. It was nature. It was beautiful trails. We lived, a river lived outside the home. And even when I was there, I started complaining about it's nothing to do. It's so boring. I don't like it. It's not enough people that look like me. And none of that got me out faster. What got me out faster was starting to be happy with myself. I congratulating myself on making that move and really taking in the beauty and remembering again the excitement. When I did that, I was actually able to move because I was no longer blaming where I was for why I wasn't happy. I was really remembering why I moved and picked the place where I moved to anyway. It wasn't like I, I it wasn't like I had not visited uh, North Carolina or even Saxapaha before I moved to it. I knew exactly what I was getting to. I mean, you never know when you till you're there, but you know we were never harmed, we were never disrespected. It was a beautiful place to live. And sometimes I look back and fondly remember it. Not that I want to go back, not that I didn't. I want to live there. Where I live now is is the next step, and I'm just so happy in that. 
So remember, remember why you loved it. And also that going going around, like I have a car, but I don't really drive it. And there's a beautiful park called Eno River Park in uh, Durham, that Durham, North Carolina, that a lot of, I, I actually did a retreat there. And people go, I see it, people go, they drive, they park their car, they, they walk the trail and then they come back. And it's, a, it's just a chance to, and it has a river, there's the Eno River, of course. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, I think about, too, what's coming up, the Labor Day weekend, because I went for the last two Labor Days. It's the Raleigh African American, I think, cultural uh, uh, festival, and it's like it closes a street off in Raleigh. And I'm going because y'all are going to come to Home Decor. There is a woman there two years in a row that sells those Cuba cloth pillows for very little to nothing, and they are gorgeous. You can get Cuba cloth, Cuba cloth pillows. I've seen mud cloth sold out there, beautiful African clothes, things for the home, beautiful dolls. That is like, I'm looking for it. I'm going to employ Jernay and maybe Shannon and a few of my sisters, and we're going to go out there. They have music. They usually have a performance. Last year it was SO, no, was it SOS Band? I think it was SOS Band. And it was another group, but they were so tight. And I, I just loved it. I had so much fun. The evening was beautiful. Raleigh is a beautiful city. I think it's a very clean city. Uh, I think it's just, I think it's architecturally beautiful. And there is a raw food restaurant there called Living Kitchen, raw and vegan. And, you know, you can stop and have a vegan meal, like, you know, a glass of organic wine if you want to. Like, what a thing. And I'm going to start, and definitely on my other channel as well, it's like traveling through, through North Carolina. It's beautiful. You know, also start looking at how gentrification has, is affecting your city, state, or your community. And instead of boo-hooing about it, start actually enjoying some of the things that maybe possibly it has brought into your community. There's a lot. Sometimes your community may go from a blighted community or a community that didn't have a lot to do to really having a lot to do. And maybe you're not even aware of all the things that are being offered in your community. So start doing that. There's a lot of plays in Durham that goes on. A lot of, believe it or not, even though it's not as many black people in downtown anymore, there still are things to do. So start exploring the things you like and go out. Like, it's really something. Another thing is something that's really big to me that came to me this morning. Think about if tomorrow you had to leave. If for some reason you, you live in a house and maybe the landlord wanted to move his family into your apartment. In some states, that's legal and you had to leave, or, you know, God forbid that you were evicted or you couldn't pay your rent and you had to leave, how would you feel? Would you start then wishing that you thought better about it? Would you start then appreciating all the things that, you know, you love about your house? You know, another thing is the appreciation level. Some of you really live in beautiful neighborhoods. Some of you, excuse me, really have good neighbors. So why don't you, because that's me, like, remembering that, you know, today, like, I got an eye doctor appointment, and I'm going to the eye doctor in Target. Target literally is go up the block and around the corner, you know, and it's such, it's so, the loca I mean, I could walk if I didn't have a car, so start appreciating the vicinity. Again, I live in a neighborhood where everything is really there. Whole Foods is only 12 minutes away in my car, and that's the furthest I have to drive. Everything else, I went to my hairdresser, she was about, and that's me not taking the freeway. If you took the freeway, this the plus is five minutes away. My hairdresser is six minutes, but I, I it's 18 minutes for me because I didn't take the freeway. I enjoy actually driving slowly because it gives me a chance to take in all that, you know, oxygen from the trees and, and, and the beauty of the trees. There's a route to my local uh, Whole Foods that I absolutely love because it's like being in the woods, just that part. And it's also, it goes by Duke University, which is, you know, the local college. And usually college universities have really nice, uh, beautiful campuses. And Duke University really does. So it's just that feel. And like I said, I love being around when young people, when I see them going to college and the whole bit, I always be like, you know, that song by um but was it Nirvana? Nirvana, I think. It was called Smells Like Teen Spirit. Like, I love that feeling of young people just starting their life. Like, I get a whiff of that, and I start feeling that newness again. And I mean, I really mean it. Like, you could love your space again. Love it now and before, you, before it's gone, you know? Okay, and, I, and all the things I talked about was, isn't it interesting? I didn't talk about anything inside the house. I'm about to do that now. I only spoke of things that were around you. 
Like I, so yeah, I, I'm going, my, my uh, eye doctor is in Target and Target is around the corner and Target is next door to Ross. I'm gonna go on Ross today because I'm really looking for a dresser because I sold my little dresser in my room, but it's okay because I'm looking for this dresser that Ross had for a couple of years, these type of Indian uh, uh, furniture and it's always reasonably priced and if you wait, they will discount it if you want to. But I know this dress is there. Every time I want something from Ross, I walk in and it's there. It never, ever fails me. I know I can go to Home Goods and all that, but I find Ross tends to be a lot cheaper or less expensive. So I'm looking for this colorful dresser that's so on my mind and it's got to be there. So, you know, so now let's talk about the inside of the house, right? You know, uh, well, let me just go outside. Enjoy your outdoor living spaces yeah, and be blessed that you have them. You know, decorate them, even if it's if it's inexpensively. Feel good. Utilize the spaces that you have. Rather than saying your space is too small or saying your space is even too big, God forbid I was saying that, enjoy all of your spaces and do what you have to do to make sure those spaces are enjoyable. One thing is to invite people over. Have friends over. Like, that's a big thing, like, I'm going to start doing now, whether it's for tea or brunch or cocktails or just laughing and fun, kicking it, or even an adult sleepover, which I'm going to have, and we're going to do it. I'm going to show a lot of it on YouTube. I'm very excited about my adult thing. So, you know, adult sleepover is going to be so cool. Sister's sleepover. I'm going to sister's sleepover. And we're going to be talking about great conversations, and you'll be privy to that. You know, so definitely do that. Of course, now we're going inside refresh seasonally it's not it's, you do it because it makes you feel good and it makes your place feel new the one thing you could do with little or no money to make yourself feel good and like a home again i know it sounds silly but i'm gonna say it clean your house i mean clean it just we all say we clean but sometimes we neglect it, especially in the summertime we're running out more we're out we're, we're traveling a lot of us clean your house Clean your house and make it shine. Like, I've been inspired to make my cleaning products again because they make me feel so damn good. I love the smell. I love the naturalness of them. I love the way they clean, the way they sparkle everything. And so I'm so, and that's what's motivating me. That motivates me to want to clean my house knowing that I'm about to make these cleaning products again. So I'm going to Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree, again, is around the corner. I'm going to Dollar Tree. And I'm going to uh, buy me some of those spray bottles because I got rid of all of them when I moved in. And I'm about to clean my house to just for the rest of the week. It's all house cleaning, you know. Give thanks, too, for what you have. Like, I'm thankful for my vehicle. Instead of thinking about the car note I'm paying every month, give thanks that I have paid it, can pay it, and also that I have a vehicle that can take me to and from. And it's, it's a new car, so it's, it it's works. And I love that. So... One thing about the house, so clean the house, refresh the house seasonally if you feel that need to do it. But another thing, let some things go, like let things go. Even things that you made, like in your decorating style or you have a picture, or you have photographs or stuff that, and I don't mean photographs of your family, but things, you know, that you made. It's like a photograph is art, but just it's tired. It's old. You don't really, don't feel the way you feel used to feel with it. Let go so that you can really make room for new stuff. That's the beauty of letting some things go. Now, at the same time, treasure your treasures. Treasure your treasures. Treasure the things that, that mean something to you. Treasure that quilt that was made just for you. Treasure that statue that you or that mask that you bought in another country. Because it reminds me of your travels. You know, treasure those dark, that dark collection you have. Dust that stuff off and start really bringing meaning to it. And maybe switch it around or change the position of even your collectibles. And also, another thing is start having collectibles. Get a hobby around your home. Like for me, I, I love dolls. And I realized that I would be a doll collector. I also love quilts. And I would love to, to collect quilts always. But of course, there you go with the, like, you don't have the room for all the quilts. I mean, that's a real thing. Like, do you have room for all them dang quilts? No, but oh, y'all, y'all know I love a quilt. Like, I love a quilt. Another thing, too, is buy something new, even if it's one thing, whether it's a major piece or a smaller piece. Like, I'm looking for wall hangings. I sold three of my shower curtains slash wall hangings. You'll know me. And, but, y'all, do y'all ever go online? There is a plethora of shower curtains with graphic art. I know you all see it. So I'm trying to think, do I want that? I love that route because it's bold 
and it also it also takes up a large amount of the wall. And I think I'd like that, but I would like some new ones. I would like more stuff dealing with families of uh, pictures and things graphically on it. Like I love Gullah Geechee art, or I love Black American folk art. So I love that style, and I, I'm gonna look for if I can see those on shower curtains. That whole kind of scenery, you know. You know, another thing is very simple. A lot of you got these coffee book tables that nobody look at, not even you. Why instead of and, and you want to you want them to be seen, start cutting them out nicely and framing them. This way, every day you see them instead of it being in a book. I start realizing it's nice to have things in the book, and the book also can be a collectible. So don't worry about that if you if you like that. But I'm really wanting to see my artwork, so I'm going to uh, take some of the stuff from my. Uh, Jonathan Green book and actually definitely frame it. You know, another thing is stay home sometimes. In other words, cook at home. Like I'm loving my kitchen. I so that everything in that kitchen, everything in my house is everything I wanted because a lot of the stuff that I received was from that virtual housewarming. Oh my God, that virtual housewarming. Like I love. I love my wooden plates, even though I bought those. But I love my wooden bowls, and yo, that was a housewarming gift. I love my tea kettle. Oh, my God, my giraffe tea kettle. Oh, I couldn't even think of parting with it. I love my wooden spoons and wooden forks. I love my spoons that I hang on the wall that I never use, my spatulas and the whole bit. Like, I could tell you things like my kitchen. I love that orange uh, pot, clay pot that I cook my stews in. You know, I love that. I love, I love my frying pan that I bought from Target. I love my wok that I received. So this is what I want you to do. Sit down, even if you don't write it down, and think of a list of things that you actually love and could not part with. I love my aprons that were handmade by Maya Wallace. I also love that throw that Maya Wallace made for me. Like, I love that. I love those tablecloths that are handmade that I got offline. I love them. I could put those they're round tablecloths with that. I can put those tablecloths on a table. I use them as uh, uh, chair covers, you know, sofa covers, but I also can put them on the wall as batiks and they become art. So another thing is start using things that you, most people was not putting the shower curtain on the wall. I never saw nobody put the top shower curtain on the wall. I'm not saying I'm the first to do it. I'm saying that I know I put the shower curtain on the wall. Why not put your tablecloths on the wall, especially if they got unique designs? That would be a wonderful batik for your wall. Like, I love that idea, you know? There's so many things that you could do to, to freshen your house and to love your house again. And for me, it started with traveling. Once I started traveling and realizing that as much as I loved any place I was, there was no place like home. Now, the first time I got that traveler's depression, where I was like, oh my God, why am I back here again? But as I started traveling more, and then remembering this from before, like I started realizing that, oh my God, it's so nice to be able to get back to me. Like, look at me, like I can, I can wear, there's certain places that you're not gonna do all your makeup the way you would, cause either it's too hot, or people don't, don't dress like that, or people don't look that fancy during the day. And, and you're in a place where you can. You know, you might actually like the fall because you can wear boots or cute sweaters. Target got some dope sweaters, girl. That who what wear, this dress is who what wear. I'm wearing my dress. You know, I know the, the colors is going out. Well, and they're not the colors, but this kind of summer dress. So I'm going to sport my yellow today because it's my yellow day. You know, it's just, and, and, and revel. If you live alone, revel in that peace, especially if you live in a, a neighborhood that is peaceful. I live in a peaceful neighborhood, a very safe neighborhood. Now, I was thinking about my trip to Sapelo and how the people leave their doors unlocked. In a sense, I mean, not that you would tempt that, but if you did here, you would be okay. And that's a great feeling to know that, that you have that uh, option, that you live in a place safe enough you could, but you don't. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you're smart and you're from New York like me, so you wouldn't do that, but you could, you know. Hold on one sec. I want to move my herbs because I want to actually open this door and get the fresh air. So the other thing is freshen your spot up by opening, yes. Ooh, that feels so good already. Hold on, ladies. By opening the door. You know, that's a good one. Another thing is a little paint goes a long way. And even if you can't paint it, you know, in my building, and you might have that option too, in my community, we can get the landlord to uh, 
or the building to give you an accent wall and they'll paint it for very little or no money. Uh, for me, if I sign the lease again, you get, they give you like a, an option, uh, like it's like a bonus because you signed the lease for another, you know, you re renewed your lease. And if you do it for a year, you get a bonus like you, they'll, uh, they'll wash your carpets for free or you can choose to do an accent wall. Uh, my carpets are fine, except for upstairs, and I can do that myself. I'm going to do another accent wall. I'm so actually, I'm gonna do a bunch of accent walls. I'm gonna get some friends. I know some ladies, my hairdresser and others, who have painting skills, and I'm gonna have a paint party. And I'm gonna make food for everyone and anything else they want, and I'm gonna have some sisters, and we're gonna come over, and we're gonna paint several, you know, several rooms in the house and just accent walls. I want a colorful, beautiful home. I know you're probably saying it's already that way, but honey, I want color on the wall. Remember my last place? I was like, oh, I wish we could paint uh, the, the walls and, and da 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 da. I remember my ex was like, oh, it don't matter to me. I was like, it matters to me, I want that. And now I moved into a place where not only can you paint, they do it for you if you want them to. And so I love that. That painting is, is just so much fun. And the last thing is appreciate your items. When you look at your stuff, you bought that. You, you, a lot of your stuff, you bought. So love it again. It's a beautiful thing to have it. So I love it. I love that I could get, for me, why I love in home is, I, it, like I said, there's places you go, you can't wear eyeliner because you're going to look like a fool. Like, you're not being dolled up on Sabalo Island. It, 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 no, it's not going to happen. It's this, and if that's important to you, you and that's an aspect of who you are, then you could get to do that. There's certain clothes that if you were somewhere else that you think you wouldn't care about wearing, you would want to wear, that you can do that here. You know, appreciate everything. Appreciate if you have a fireplace and you get to be in front of it. There's places, yeah, maybe it's not, it's, it doesn't get cold enough to, for a fireplace, but there's something very beautiful and tranquil about a fireplace. I, I wish I had one. Like, that would be a great feature, but I'll have one in my house when I buy my land because I'm buying land in North Carolina. I'm back on that. And just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself, plant, plant stuff. You know, if you plant them in planter boxes or you do container gardening, which I used to do all the time when I lived in California, it's very effective. Grow herbs, like there's so much that you could do. And right now I'm, I'm gonna make me heat, heat up my tea and I'm gonna go to my next channel because I wanna talk on the next channel of, you know, how to stay healthy in your 50s. Like I think that we should have a conversation about it and it actually ascends around creating a space in your home where you could do that. You know, I think 50, in some ways you slow down, in other ways you speed up, and how to really navigate that. And I think because I'm 50 and I'm traveling at this age, I realized be from the travel, I would never know unless I did it, how much that I need that, that self-care time as a 50-year-old woman. And, and I'm gonna talk about that and maybe in ways that you probably would not. Uh, think about doing and even if you're not in your 50s or beyond because you know that you will be one day god willing right that you will be one day and you might want to learn because you can use these tips early but specifically for the 50 year old woman and y'all i know that i came on yesterday and y'all was like but the here though and i'm sorry because i know there's people that watch this channel that don't watch the other channel so i got my hair done by a f my my hairdresser is freaking fabulous First of all, she cares about the quality of hair. And when I got, she braided my hair when I had the Fulani braids before I went to my first, no, my second trip to the DR. And, uh, but while in the DR after a month, cause I stayed for two, I had another person braid my hair. And a lot of braiders, you know, great, looked really beautiful. Like I love that going back style. Pero, uh, my, it, it snatched a little bit of edges that I had left out. And she was like, no, we're not going to braid your hair and put the extensions in like that anymore. And we're not going to do that back style. It's too much tension. And I said, she said, what do you want? I said, I really want my natural hair to grow out. I want to have long hair again or longer, you know, let my hair grow long. And she's like, okay, we got you. And she really did. The first time I came, she gave me a, a deep conditioner and a wash. But she did tell me, you need a protein, uh, a protein conditioner. 
And she said, and the last day we did it, and she said, yes, your hair is taken to that protein so quickly. It, she knows what it needs. She cares about the hair. She's grown out many of the sisters here. You can find her on Facebook at Shalisha, S-H, no, no, her, her uh, hair uh, page, Rain, R-E-I-G-N, Expertise, uh, X. P E R T I S E. Wonderful. Or Shalisha, S H A L I S H A Web, W E B B. She's also on there, just in case you know you want to find her. And she's in North Carolina, Durham, and you'll see because she has hair pictures on her hair. And the work is freaking incredible. And you know what? Wait a second. That's not fair because I think I did Facebook. I showed, but somebody said, could you? Put her information because you wanted to take it to your hairdresser or you know you wanted to see it more so let's really take a look at this magnificent so she this is like i said all my hair just she just added some extensions at the end okay but anyway it's a zigzag pattern and it's one two three four i want everybody to know about her because her work is amazing and this is the top and so we came up together. I sent her, she, I knew she's an artist and she knows me. She knows I'm going for it. I want something unique and different. How beautiful is this, this? But, and so I sent her a, uh, I sent her so I, just right before, cause I know I had my appointment. I was like, you know what sis? I'm thinking about this is what I want. I want bangs with beads, bangs with beads. And I, I sent all these pictures. I said, but of course with your flair. And I leave it just like that. So she did the, the bangs with the beads, and then she did the pattern in the back. I didn't know she was doing all this beauty. Look at that work. Look at the size, just so you could see, you know. And then, of course, we're allowing my edges to grow back. So I know. That's another reason. I know it sounds so vain. One another reason why I want to kind of stay in North Carolina and stay in my place. I know this is so dang vain, but it's not. I really love when you find a great hairdresser, like, I can still travel. My hair will be protective style braids the twist the last style she had that she did was dope too uh is your hair is protected and it will last it stays it's so moisturized when i take this out uh for the two weeks i go away or the three weeks that i go away and i'm going to talk about that on my next channel but when i come back i can have that i, I can continue to have her pamper me and she has have she has so many clients that they here went from this to down their back yes so i am very excited woman over 50 with my long hair and yes, and I love that this is all of my hair. I love that. I love my own hair. But also, I'm not above extensions. But now I'm starting to think when I travel, I don't necessarily have to get extensions anymore because what you do with this, you, you, you wrap it up and get up. This is another wonderful thing. But anyway, I'll talk about that on my other channel. But, you know, we talk about hair, the beauty, like what I'm loving. Another wonderful way to have your hairstyle. Maybe add some extensions on the, on the ends. Because, you know, you want that extra look. Like, I love it. I'm not a, I will definitely do extensions. She does extensions. I will do it again. But I'm just loving that I don't have to. And I love this idea of beauty. So I love my hairdresser. That's why I love being here. I love my hairdresser. I have this. She also hooked me up on a a black owned nail salon in Durham and it's by appointment only just you and your and your, your hairdresser I mean your nail and I, I found that now and I always want that so I you know look for things in your community that you you would you would travel the world to go to and my hairdresser is one and my manicurist is another so anyway let me say good morning and we're gonna go to the other thing and then I'm gonna go to my eye doctor appointment so what I want with my eye doctor is remember my black glasses with the cat eye like I love that look that is my look my red glasses no those are my extra glasses that's not for me so I want to if you go online and could y'all recommend for me too because you probably know I know there's online places that once you give them the prescription you could get frames for very little money and they are beautiful frames because the eye doctor, you know you come out there with paying $300 for what? That's like stupid. So, I, but you, but the thing is with these companies that you buy the, the frame, they need your prescription. And you know my prescription hasn't, I've been here for three years. 
So any prescription that I would have from my other doctor, he wouldn't even give it to me from the states because they're, you know, I need a new prescription. So if you all know any company specifically that maybe you've dealt with that does that where you send them your prescription and you buy the frame from them and the frame is cheap and then they know they hook it up and they send you your glasses, will y'all please let me know and put that in the description box because I love cat eye. I want it even more cat eye than before. That's my look. Also, I, I don't mind them in a different color, the red frames. I want two or three. I want a red pair, blue pair, but I actually, I, I hardly like black, but I loved my black glasses and I stepped on them, sat on them, and they broke, but they was junky anyway. It was time to go. So let me know. Help a sister out because I need some glasses. It is fall time and we about to be cute. And Target, my favorite store to shop, and my favorite designer, Who, What, Where, has some fall gear that a girl need to go get. So we're going to be going shopping. Maybe not right away, but we're going shopping for the fall. So I'm very excited. Yes. Okay. I love you. Now let me see who's here. And then we'll go to the other one. Hey, good morning, Beverly. Hey, good morning, Lakeisha. Those are good ideas. I'm always complaining about Oklahoma City. Yes, because once you start loving it and then still actively moving to where you want to be, I promise you that you you then be then you you actually will go and move to where you want to be because you the, it's the vibration of love. The vibration of joy and happiness attracts the same. You look amazing. Loving your classic look. Thank you, Miss Poncho. How you doing, girl? Thank you. Antoinette says, I agree. Cleaning your house is both healing and spiritual for me. Love it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I'm getting some. Oh, yay. Okay, I'm getting some inf um, messages. Hey, Yapa, beautiful rising to you, darling. Audrey McC McClain, hey, grand rising to you, lovely. Hey, Monique, good morning, giving us African Queen this morning. I'm just really loving this style. Like, I did, girl. I was like, I know, like I said, do y'all notice that a lot of people think that wearing beads and braids is like a little girl style? But did any of you come up in the, like, when you were younger, like my mother was very 70s and so she had afros. And don't y'all remember somebody said, you giving me Patrice Russian. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Taste the honey, Patrice Russian. Don't, grown folks wore the beads. Like, and I always said, I'm going to grow up. I'm going to have me an afro and I'm going to have me beads. Like, I'm going to do the beads thing. So... My hairdresser knows, she knows, she, she laughs, we laugh. she knows that, I don't have to tell her to put beads in, she knows whatever style I want, I want beads. Like, this is me, you know, probably for the rest of my life, you know how Susan Taylor has the cornrows going back, or slight going back, and like, that's her look, like, that's just her classic, beautiful look, because she's so beautiful. My look is beads, I want beads mama. I'm gonna do, what, my next style, I think, is the bob. You know, literally, the, this bang and then the bob with the hair going and the beads. Oh, the shaking. What? Okay, I'm sorry. I love beads. I love it. But thank you, y'all. I love it. It feels really good. Thank you. Hey, Monique, that's a great house. I mean, that's a great bonus. Yes, yes. Are, are any of them artists? A lovely mule would be nice. Uh, and it, Yeah. I, oh, ooh, Monique, I don't know if they are, but I will ask. That is excellent. I know exactly about the painting people, the house party paint party. Yes. Beverly says, yes, appreciate and be grateful for everything. Yes, right? Good morning, Lisa Marie. Hey, Elizabeth Grant. Oh, that, good morning to you. Sounds like crown, crows in the background. Love it. Yes, it is the crows. What about that? The nature, right? I'll send you a pic on Messenger of the glasses I ordered. Monique, thank you. The glasses you ordered and the company too, Monique. Uh, good morning, Queen. I'm so excited for you. Thank you, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. Audrey, oh, now the bob would be so you. Girl, the bob and the beads and the what? Okay, next style. Next style. Uh, new here. Good morning. Hey, Angel. It's so well. Uh, morning says, love your channel. Hey, everyone. Hey, what a channel. Thank you. I'm back, y'all. And yes, y'all, that bob. And what I love is the hair, the braids, you know, elongate the hair. You know, remember back in the day, I grew up where if you wanted your hair to grow, you put it in braids. We used to say braids make your hair grow. Now we know braids make your hair grow because braids, especially if they're not done tight and hers never are, they actually, what they do is you're in a protective style. You ain't messing in your hair and that produce, not just growth, because everybody don't care about that, but the, but your hair is more healthy when we actually kind of leave it alone. So I love that as well. 
Yes, thank you. Joyce said, I've been keeping up with you. I'm also making big changes. Can't wait to share. Oh, Joyce, I hope to see you in this next intensive, how to long and short term travel mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Uh, have you thought about using your home for an elite woman's retreat? Yes, Vasa. Vasa. Vasa, I love you. Yes, do you know I did? And I woke up this morning and Spirit gave me the whole plan. Do you know exactly that word, elite? Do you know exact? Girl, that's why the Spirit is very beautifully deep, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I, I got chills because I got the same message. Y'all, you would love this and you would love the state of North Carolina. There's some, this is will be like, oh my God, we're going to have so much fun. Yes, queen. Thank you. I love you. You look radiant. Thank you, Vasa. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, Joyce. Oh, I sent the website, but I guess YouTube didn't let it go through. Oh yeah. Cause I didn't see it. So Monique, you know, you got me on messenger message me, baby. Cause I need that website. Cause a girl need her eyes and they need to be really cute. Thank you. Red glasses. Cause I do appreciate you. You are my backup. They my Vogue. And I got some Versace that I got and they even bigger, but they, I, I'm glad I have them for a backup, but I like cat lady. I don't know. You know, y'all, when you find your style, it's like, that's your style, right? So yes. And I'm enjoying being home because like I said, I can wear all this. Now when I go to Trinidad and Tobago, it's going to be high. It's a little bit different, you know. So I won't be wearing all this. I think Sabalo, Sabalo for me taught me the importance of being cute. Like, I don't know, like, can I live in a place where you don't really get dressed fancy because it ain't really nowhere to go. And if you do, everybody's going to look at you. And I just love the bright yellow dresses. I love it. The little boy, he's a 14 year little boy, 12. Excuse me, his name is Marcus, and he said, because I finally got a clue by day six that I need to be wearing something other than a cute dress, even though I was all covered up. And I put some pants on, they said, yeah, and then put your socks over your pants on the bottom, makes sense so that the bugs won't get you. And they know they was really teaching me how to do it. And he said, how you doing, ma'am? I said, oh, I'm good. He said, dressing down today, huh? I was like, oh, no, stop. They was calling me like the wilderness runway model. Like, what, 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 where you going, girl? Where you going? But I was like, I, I need a dress on, you know? So I think coming home and being here, you know, you forget about the things that, you, that make you you. And sometimes it's your home makes you you. I got to say, what, what does my underlining thing keep being? It keeps being... Uh, you, you are good. You are special. You love you. Be you. And I keep saying that everywhere I go that I learned that. And it was like, oh, mix with the culture, this and that. Okay, but yes, but be you because people laughed, but they loved it. That was intriguing. They wanted to know me. Who is this woman? Like, I, they, they laughed, but they didn't. They was like, hey, she, she need to be pretty, you know? She, cause I said, it's like, oh, we're going to be doing, you know, we're going to be opening up the troll and Mason's it's the juke joint. You should come through. I said, oh, I got to go get pretty. I got to go get pretty. It's like, okay, girl, go get pretty. You know, like, it, it's, it's necessary for a sister. So, yes, yes. Okay, that's right. Laugh, yeah, laugh. Your, I know butt off, right? I l laugh out loud, dressing down. Okay, I was rolling. Youngest had to school you, girl. He was like, ma'am. I was like, oh, oh, you got jokes now. I was like, okay. <laughs> hey, he said, you dressing down today. Because I know what's going to say. Oh, she's going to go back and come out looking like a fashion runway. I was like, really? Like, this ain't even the cutest stuff I got. But, uh, and heels is out the question on the island. So, you know, but it was fun. Because, you know, you go there, you be there, and then you do that, and then you do something else. All right, y'all. Meet me on the other channel. Because I want to talk about ways to stay healthy in your 50. Because I really thought about it. Okay, I got time. And it's around the corner. So let me get my tea, my ever life everlasting tea. I, I made enough yesterday where I can, I'm going to heat it up and I'll come back with you to you about how to be healthy in 50 because I figured some things out and the health is not, mm -mm -mm, it's not just physical. That's something that I'm learning and I would love to share with you. All right, ladies, thank you for the support. So I'm looking, I'm going to Ross today. I'm looking for this dresser. That's a big one because, you know, one piece can make a big difference. Oh, did I just say that? And when I go to this leasing office and do what I got to do, I'm going to tell them, squirrel, I'm going to tell them that I want an accent wall. So this is what I'm thinking because we are in the home decor and, and for my new people, hey, 
That's the green wall. I know many of you love the green wall. I still got paint, but the green wall is just a little too dark for me. And especially in this room where I don't feel like the sunlight, that this is the door, it never reaches over there. You can see why, it just doesn't have, maybe late in the afternoon. But I know the winter is coming. And when the winter comes, I need more, maybe like a lot of you, I need brightness, because it's kind of dark, right? You know, we're on the East Coast, I mean, I think, uh, South North Carolina has a lot of sun even in the winter, but no, it's still cool. I love that dog. I always say a color is great until you don't want it anymore. Like it's fine. I'm going to get that wall orange. And um, I think about Antoinette, you got a lot of beautiful orange walls. I need brightness and I'm going to do an orange wall right there. And that's my, that's going to be free because that comes with, you know, renewing my lease. So orange wall there. Let me just show you. I know I showed you before, but you know I like to talk stuff through because it's fun. Here, besides artwork, before I do artwork, I really want, remember I had the woman, the fierce woman with the afro? I sold that and that's fine. I just put that up there because I had nowhere else to put it. Everybody liked it. But what I liked was the color. I want blue. So I still have the blue from the other wall. I want this, the feel I want in this bathroom is a classy feel. And I think that blue just classes it up. And then I'm gonna have pictures, the Jonathan Green Gullah Geechee pictures in white frames on that blue wall. Hello, that's gonna be dope. Now, if I'm really feeling fancy, I would do blue here and I would do orange on this big wall. And then do, you know, like blue, I, look, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, that's what I would do. Multiple colors. And let me remind you of the beautiful blue. When I look at the blue, I get very excited. When I look at the green, I don't get so excited. But don't worry, I got a little green paint left. Of course, I have more blue paint left because it's a smaller wall. I love this blue. Can we get a thumbs up for this blue? Like this blue, right? This room right here is just, this is my cute room. And when people come, you know, we'll, we'll work this room out. But I love this blue. And that's the blue that I want in the bathroom, the, the guest bathroom. Tell me what you're thinking. Now, as far as the green goes, I want to get a piece of furniture. I want to get a piece of furniture, something kind of old from a secondhand store. There's a place called the PTA, PTA thrift store or something but anyway it's in chapel hill and they always have a lot of nice old pieces for like five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars and i want to paint it that green color because that green is beautiful sometimes things are not for the wall or for your home but they're for something else and i want to bring the green in because my astrologer said that's my color he said blue isn't i don't see that's what i said you gotta go and make you feel good you know astrologer you <laughs> we deleting that one i love me some blue so I'm going to keep the, and the green and I'm going to paint. Because, I mean, when I walk right now, I mean, that green is very stunning. I think from far away, <laughs> that green is beautiful. But mm -mm -mm. now let me tell you what I would do with the green also. If I don't do a furniture, I, I'm, I'm all about it. You'll come to my room and be like, oh, this is dope, my house. So this wall, I would love, I would love to have the green on this wall. That's why I'm going to have a party. I would love the green on this wall. Sometimes, too, maybe that the green is too much green for me, that color. But the green on this wall and put this picture right back against that green, hello. Like, I would do that. I would do that. As a matter of fact, I would do the green on this wall. And then this is my Cameroonian mask. I would do the green. Oh, I would do the green on the two walls right there. That's what I'm thinking. Got enough paint but I'm gonna get the orange for that one. And her, hold on. I know the green's kind of pretty, y'all. <laughs> but that's why I'll put it over there because when you have that orange in bag, I know, sometimes you be like, no, the green is gorgeous. Just put colorful stuff on it. No, we're gonna move it. Uh, let me show you this. She's forever, like I'm keeping her for life. Everybody else, I was willing to let go, but I, like, I love her and she stays. Until she don't, you know? But uh, I want this wall color too. So I'm asking y'all, so we're gonna have an orange wall across from her, because there's so much orange here that I don't need more orange here. She's orange. If I was to do this as an accent color, I wanna ask your opinion, y'all. What color do you think? Think about her against the wall. Now, the blue could work, but I don't want a dark color in here. What do you think since she's already bright? Give me some ideas, I would love to hear from y'all. So, yeah, but. 
I did say with this green, I said I like this green more uh, with nothing on it. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have the right pieces, which I probably didn't. So, And the one, remember that yellow shower curtain with the women dancing? I, I was so over that shower curtain, so I'm so glad that I somebody else is enjoying it. And then remember I started off with the green because that would inspire me, was the green shower curtain, the Lauren Hill one, which I think is so pretty, but I'm trying not to do too many, like, this one woman anymore. Like, she's one of them, and I think she's good. But again, I, I want uh, boutiques that uh, reflect family life, man, woman, children. And they have plenty at the African, African land, which I'm about to visit them. I'm about to visit them in a couple of days. Okay, so ladies talk to me what do you think should go what is the accent color that you think would accentuate the queen over here let me see if you got some opinions uh, hold on okay let me see if you got some opinions on that okay well if you do because i know a lot of you are traveling okay the last two spaces i lived in i had burnt orange walls in my bedroom yes the orange for sure where i am now the walls are yellow I'm, i love the idea of yellow oh what about yellow back there oh i love me so yeah, yellow is my color and i was surprised that i loved it so i didn't paint here color is so transforming yes monique i like the yellow right here that yellow off that orange I think we're going to do yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I think so, yellow. Oh, and yeah. Okay, we'll leave it alone. Because I'm excited. Because I got a bedroom. The wall that my bed is next against, I want to do an accent wall there and still have a shower curtain. Yes, Lisa, would look, yes, it would look awful. Yellow. Yellow and orange. And remember, this room is the room that I want that brightness because in the winter it's a little dark. Yes, Monique. Yellow. Of course. I'm wearing yellow. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> yellow sounds perfect. Yes, Audrey's co-signs. Yes. Okay. Thank you, y'all. Very excited. All right. Now we're going to talk about taking into your 50s. Because there's some things that I learned about the 50, the aging body and the aging woman. And it does true. Black don't crack. But we definitely, if we're not careful, we will definitely experience this. I just want to show you. I want to talk about things that I experienced in my 50s that I don't, that I never experienced before and how I think we could uh, uh, embrace it and create it to be exactly what we want. So give me about 10 minutes and I'll see you on the other channel. This is Lisa Marie of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. What I wanna bring in 2020, cause I'm already thinking 2020, is maybe it'll happen in 2019, the end of it is I do still wanna do some version of In Our Own Image where I do interesting video interviews and all that stuff with our people especially in north carolina I, this is the place to be if you ever thought about relocating to the south i would recommend north carolina for sure uh paint blue comes from sea islanders keep the evil spirits. that's right that's right keep the evil spirits away absolutely that would be awesome course gracefully and yes i'm and actually i'm glad you said that because that's going to be a sunday special so embracing i meant yes honey it's going to be a sunday special and i'm gonna give you a little teaser today but the sunday special is it because uh you know when you're young you sit around people that are older in their 50s and you never think you're going to get 50 when you're 20 or even when you're 19 or you're 18 and when you get there you go wow what wisdom could I pass down to even the younger women and how can I help us as black women because since we don't talk about aging everything we talk about is how not to age and I want to talk, have a course about the beauty of aging because there is such beauty in it and I love it so I'll share a little bit with you because I'm going to invite you to my Sunday course not this Sunday of course but next Sunday, so get ready. $47 is going to be the bomb. See you later, ladies. Peace.